Take a look around you. Nearly every device in our homes, workplaces, and surroundings runs on electricity. However, we're facing a problem. The price of lithium, a key component in most rechargeable batteries, is skyrocketing by the day. This situation is worrisome. Lithium is crucial for powering electric vehicles, electric bikes, forklifts, mobile phones, laptops, and even for storing energy from solar panels and wind turbines. Its high energy density allows for efficient power storage, while its lightweight and low maintenance make it highly advantageous. However, it's predicted that within the next 10 years, lithium-ion batteries will be replaced by sodium-ion batteries in these devices and electric vehicles, marking a significant shift in the industry. Back in the 1970s and early 1980s, sodium-ion batteries were in development. However, the commercial viability of lithium-ion batteries in the 1990s overshadowed the interest in sodium-ion batteries, leading to a decline in their advancement. Yet, in the early 2010s, sodium-ion batteries made a powerful comeback, driven by the soaring costs of raw materials used in lithium-ion batteries. The primary drawback of lithium-ion batteries is their high cost. Producing them is generally over 30% more expensive than sodium batteries, and since 2021, their prices surged by more than sevenfold. Lithium prices have skyrocketed from $5,000 per ton in 2010 to $74,000 per ton in 2022, while sodium costs only $278 per ton during that time. This staggering difference of $73,322 makes sodium batteries significantly cheaper as sodium-ion batteries don't require additional minerals. Another factor contributing to the price surge is the high demand and limited supply resulting from the transition to fully electric vehicles. This necessitates increased mining rates, even though only a few countries possess lithium resources. In contrast, sodium is over 500 times more abundant than lithium, and large quantities can be easily obtained from sea salt NaCl through mass production via seawater heating. Sodium is virtually everywhere on Earth. The same manufacturing plants used for producing lithium batteries can be used for sodium-ion batteries as well. In contrast, lithium requires additional mineral resources such as cobalt, nickel, manganese, and graphite for processing. The production process of sodium-ion batteries doesn't rely on any of these minerals, ultimately reducing the cost of electric vehicles and other devices that rely on lithium batteries for energy. The transition from lithium-ion batteries to sodium-ion batteries holds great promise for a more cost-effective and sustainable future. With sodium's abundance and the elimination of costly mineral requirements, we are on the verge of a revolutionary change in the entire industry. Let's delve into the inner workings of a sodium-ion battery. A sodium-ion battery operates by harnessing the power of sodium as its primary component. It comprises various components, an anode, positive electrode, a cathode, negative electrode, a separator, an electrolyte, a specialized liquid, and two current collectors. The anode and cathode act as reservoirs for storing sodium. The electrolyte functions as the battery's lifeblood, circulating and maintaining the flow of energy. It is created by dissolving salts and liquids, which generates charged particles known as ions. These ions are transported by the electrolyte between the anode and cathode facilitated by the separator that permits ion movement while impeding electron flow. As sodium ions migrate within the battery, they generate free electrons at the anode, resulting in a positive charge at the positive current collector. This collector serves as a checkpoint for the flow of electricity. The electric current then courses through the device powered by the battery, such as an electric vehicle or smartphone, until it reaches the negative current collector. During the discharge process when the battery is in use, the anode releases sodium ions to the cathode. This ion movement triggers the flow of electrons, establishing an electric current that travels from one side of the battery to the other. When it's time to recharge the battery, the reverse occurs. Sodium ions are released from the cathode and received by the anode. This replenishes the energy stored in the battery, preparing it for the next utilization. In summary, a sodium ion battery harnesses sodium to store and release energy. As sodium ions migrate between the anode and cathode, they generate an electric current. During the recharging process, the direction of sodium ion flow is reversed to restore the battery's energy capacity. Let's take a closer look at the current progress of sodium ion technology in the industry. CATO, a renowned Chinese battery manufacturer recognized as one of the world's largest producers of electric vehicle batteries, has achieved a remarkable milestone. 
They have successfully integrated sodium cells and lithium cells into a single electric car battery pack, merging the cost-effectiveness and durability of sodium cells with the extended range provided by lithium cells. This breakthrough is truly exciting. On July 29, 2021, CATL unveiled its first-generation sodium-ion battery, boasting an impressive energy density of 160 watt-hours per kilogram. While acknowledging that the energy density of their sodium-ion battery was slightly lower compared to lithium-iron phosphate batteries, CATL emphasized its distinct advantages in terms of low temperature performance, safety, and fast charging capabilities. Then, on April 16, 2023, CATL made a significant announcement. Cherry Auto would be the pioneering automaker to incorporate mass-produced sodium-ion batteries in their electric vehicles. It's worth noting that Cherry Auto held a press conference hundreds of kilometers away from CATL's headquarters in Nained. During the event, they introduced their new iCar brand and proudly declared that CATL's groundbreaking sodium-ion battery technology would power their lineup of EV models. Before the midpoint of 2023, another prominent Chinese automaker, BYD, launched the Seagull compact electric car, featuring a 30 kWh sodium-ion battery pack. This marks BYD's first model to utilize sodium-ion battery chemistry, which offers cost advantages in manufacturing. Interestingly, the battery setup is similar to CATL's hybrid battery pack that combines sodium-ion and lithium-ion cells. The Seagull EV comes in two variants. One equipped with a small 30 kWh battery providing a range of 190 miles per charge, and another with a larger 38 kWh battery pack delivering an impressive driving range of 252 miles when fully charged. What's truly astonishing is the price at which BYD is offering this EV. Both models with these battery packs support DC fast charging, allowing a charge from 0% to 80% in just 30 minutes. The Seagull EV is available for purchase, starting at $10,600, and goes up to $14,000 for the fully loaded model. BYD may not be the first automaker to successfully adopt sodium-ion batteries in their EVs, but they are certainly making waves in the industry. At the second Chinese National Conference on Neon Batteries, j State Group and Hina showcased their collaboration by unveiling a five-seater sodium-powered vehicle. This remarkable achievement was met with great enthusiasm on February 23. The vehicle in question, the Seahol E10X, was produced by the Volkswagen j Chinese joint venture and featured a sodium battery pack manufactured by Hina. With a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours, an energy density of 120 watt hours per kilogram, and a range of 250 kilometers, the sodium-powered Seahol E10X served as a prototype for testing purposes, rather than a mass-produced model. Now, let's address an important aspect, the safety of sodium batteries. In terms of safety, sodium-ion batteries hold distinct advantages over their lithium-ion counterparts. One significant safety benefit lies in their improved thermal stability. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, which can be prone to thermal runaway events leading to fires or explosions, sodium-ion batteries have demonstrated greater resistance to overheating. This characteristic reduces the risk of accidents and ensures a safer user experience. Sodium-ion batteries also excel in handling overcharging and excessive discharging compared to lithium-ion batteries. When a lithium-ion battery is overcharged, it may suffer permanent damage and become more susceptible to fire hazards. However, sodium-ion batteries exhibit greater durability and resilience in such situations, making them a safer option during the charging process. However, it's important to acknowledge one of the main drawbacks of sodium-ion batteries. Their lower energy density when compared to lithium-ion batteries. This means that an electric vehicle or any device utilizing a sodium battery of the same size as a standard lithium-ion battery may not be able to achieve the same level of performance or travel the same distance on a single charge. Furthermore, packing higher voltage into the same space can cause sodium-ion batteries to deteriorate more rapidly. Nonetheless, researchers including Zhang and his team at the Dewey Pacific Northwest National Laboratory are actively working on extending the lifespan of sodium-ion batteries and enhancing their energy density to achieve performance that aligns more closely with conventional lithium-ion batteries. The future of sodium-ion batteries looks promising, with numerous companies investing in advancing the technology, scaling up production, and improving energy density. On December 5, 2022, Faradian Limited, 
a subsidiary of India's Reliance Industries, introduced their first natrium-ion battery in Australia. These battery packs have already found success in electric bikes and scooters. Veradian also conducted successful tests on the safe transportation of sodium-ion cells, addressing concerns related to flammable materials in lithium-ion batteries. This is especially important in light of incidents like the one involving a Ford F-150 Lightning on February 4, 2023 where a fire traced back to one of Ford's battery suppliers raised concerns. Veradian aims to prevent such incidents in the future as sodium-ion batteries continue to be developed. Other companies like Timat, Hesfold, Ultras AB, and various battery manufacturers are actively researching alternative sources for sodium-ion and working towards enhancing the energy density of these batteries. With all it said, sodium-ion batteries are poised to become the preferred choice for powering electric vehicles and electronic devices offering cost-effectiveness and improved safety features. In the automotive industry, they provide a more affordable option while approaching the safety standards of lead-acid technology. The advancements and adoption of sodium-ion batteries in these industries are expected to revolutionize the market. Stay subscribed to our channel for more informative videos. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for exciting content. Thank you for watching.